you just reproducing the New York formula or are you trying to do something uh, different? So I'm, I'm always concerned that you know, I can perhaps reproduce a lot of the look, but what's essentially is what I like about Barzai in, in New York, I cannot you know, bring over. Um, and that, that's always a concern, you know, so... The expect expectations are very high here. How much pressure has that been on you? It's a bit like going out with a woman and, and she's heard that you're fantastic in bed and then you have to produce, you know. Uh, I, I've that, never had that problem, <laughs> by the way. And so I'm very worried that I won't come up with the goods. And I think that anxiety makes me work harder, certainly longer hours, whether that's better or not, I don't know. But I sort of work around the clock in order to, to avoid disappointing people, because I think that's a big problem of mine. Now, you, you're a Briton who's made his name in New York. How different do you find the London restaurant scene? So it seems very vibrant here. I mean, with all the, I mean, it's a cliche, the young chefs or the restaurants out, you know, in the, in the East End, which is where I'm from. So in a way, that's, it's peculiar for me to go to back to where I, I was born and where there were one or two calves, maybe, uh, you know, serving uh, sausage eggs to find these wonderful restaurants. Why now? Why come to London now? I came to London about a year and a half ago, and I've got young children, and I put, you know, they went to school in Notting Hill, and I renovated a house, and I came in order to escape restaurants for a couple of years, you know, just to get out, because I've been doing it for 30 years. But then I'd become friends with Richard Caring, and Richard had this space, uh, and he wanted me, he was interested in it to see if I wanted to you know, build a Balthazar here. And first I said no, second time I said no, uh, and third time, uh, he, he threatened to break my legs, and I said yes, you know, very quickly, because I'm a coward. Right, once you've got this open, will you think about opening somewhere else in London? Uh, maybe, I was thinking... I was thinking about a, a pub in Notting Hill, um, but I, I think the, the, uh, the burden of opening this ha has taken its toll in a way, and I just feel I should get this up and running, and I think that'll take a long time, and I might be dead by the time it happens, so I'll probably won't be in a... It's not easy to open a restaurant when you're dead. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Oh.